So the Adobe Creative SDK makes it possible for first-party Adobe apps and third-party apps from other companies out in the world become part of the Creative Cloud platform. It lets users download their creative assets into mobile and web apps, get access to creative tools made by Adobe, and upload new assets back into their Creative Cloud accounts. The Creative SDK supports iOS, Android, and web, and we have third-party partners on all of those platforms. Uh, some of our favorite apps are Paper by 53, which uses our Sense Desktop API, Bazart, which uses a bunch of different components from the Creative SDK, and we have a new uh, web partner, uh, which is Kaku from Japan, and they're using our beta uh, asset browser UI component. Up until now, you could access the Creative SDK on iOS, Android, and web. But there are situations where web developers want to be able to write apps that will deploy on iOS and Android without learning how to code, say, in Objective-C, Swift, or Java, and instead write with technologies that they already know and love, like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now with the Creative SDK's partnership with the Adobe PhoneGap team, we offer plugins that make the Creative SDK accessible to those web developers. They can go into the command line, type in one line, and now they've got the Creative SDK functionality right there available in their PhoneGap app. We can still work with building sample repos and plugins and more on the GitHub organization, helping make it possible to bridge the gap between a proprietary technology and third-party developers out there in the world who want to reap the benefits of that technology in their apps. Developers can just come in and see top to bottom working code and get started very quickly, but it doesn't stop there. We can actually use these open source projects to make the support process easier. So if developers have questions, we can provide them a link. We'll answer that question and then we'll say, hey, if you want to know more, go check out this repo. We can even talk to these third party developers uh, through GitHub issues. They can report bugs. They can request new functionality, and we can be very open about our process. And our goal is to make that development experience, that getting started experience, as smooth as possible for those developers. And open source helps us achieve that.